team wants a strong start to the season, Doris. How important is that in the long run, you think? I think it's very important, B.A., to get off to a good start to build confidence. You want some carryover between what you worked on in training camp and the start of the season. Obviously, you want to be playing your best basketball at the end, but that starts at the beginning of the season. So let's take a look at the Los Angeles Lakers starting lineup. D'Lo and Reeves are the backcourt duo. It's LeBron at power forward with AD as the center. And it's Achimura in at the three. Well, LeBron is such a student of the game. This guy knows exactly how to get the defense reacting and hits the open man. Now here's Mobley. From deep, Mitchell. He drops it from range. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. And you would expect nothing less from these two. Taking pride and making plays. Here's James. Against Brooklyn, he was really on his game. Going inside. Mitchell grabs a miss. Well, we love his ability to attack the rim. He just loses a little bit of focus and misses the chippy. Outside, Struess. Pass to Mobley. And he buries his first look. Well, we call that a high percentage shot for Mr. Evan Mobley. He gets after it in there. And so it's Russell who brings up the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. Down low. Achira outside. Six on the shot clock. Up top, Davis. Shoots over Allen. Davis misses. The Cavaliers have gone two of three from the floor. Well, Grant, there's one thing Mitchell will always be remembered for by Cavs fans. Oh, so true, B.A. I mean, 71 points in a game in the 2022-23 season, setting a Cleveland franchise record. And for a franchise that has had so many great players, including the likes of LeBron James. Back to James. against Garland and there's James from the arc that shot's good Russell making the play we often see LeBron James with the ball in his hands creating for himself or others that time a little catch and shoot the easy one for LeBron now here's Garland and in the game with Denver he did not play well James against Mobley outside it as the shot clock ticks down. Mitchell's gotten his second bucket on the night. You get the sense that a little bit of pressure makes Donovan Mitchell elevate his game. Under duress of the shot clock, no problem. On the wing, Reeves checked by Mitchell. Unloads from 13. And that one's good. And hitting from the mid-range here and early. I mean, really gives the defense just another thing to worry about. They're basically saying, you're going to have to guard us at every point on the floor tonight if you're going to have any chance. On the wing, Reeves. And finished off by Davis. And you really can't sleep on Davis's length, especially on the offensive glass. Outside Mitchell. Garland against Russell. 13 feet out. Garland, no good. I'm sure he's kicking himself. He hates to blow that kind of opportunity. James, outside. And he lobs it up. Boy, left it right in the sweet spot with the lob. Nicely done. LeBron. Saw his teammate with a path to the rim. And boom, lobbed it up there beautifully. Very smooth catch and finish. Time called here. The Cavs decide to talk it over. In comes in for Evan Mobley. Okoro is checked in for Struess. And Karis LeVert is subbed in for Mitchell. And a new group getting ready for the Lakers. Hayes is checked in for James. Prince comes in for Achimura. Reddish is checked in for Reeves. And it's Dinwiddie in for Russell. Now here's Garland. Yet to see a basket. Niang a screen. Takes a three. And here's LeVert for three. Knocks down the triple. We all know Karis LeVert is a gifted driver. Balances that with the ability to make the best shot in basketball corner three. It's Dinwiddie on the wing. Guarded by Garland. Fades away. Dinwiddie, no good. I'm still a bit confused as to why he shot it from that distance. I think as a player, you have 
know your strengths and play to them, and that is not within his range. Now here's Thompson. Pass to Okoro. Nie outside. Cleveland needs to get off a shot. Levert, that's good. Uh, Karis Levert has worked diligently to make his three-point shot legitimate. Knocks that one down. Dinwiddie passes to Reddish. Yes, and a nice assist from Dinwiddie. Both teams are starting to find a rhythm here. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Stolen by Davis. Both teams have it going here early and still close through the first quarter. Lakers ahead, up two, and will return shortly. 15. We hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even on the scoreboard so far. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. They've done a great job facilitating so far. So moving the rock and finding the open man, just great selfless basketball. The other thing that's gone exceptionally well for them tonight is the shooting they've displayed from beyond the three-point arc. Karis LeVert is out there with Mitchell. Then there's George Niang. Then there's Tristan Thompson. And it's Okoro in at the three. The small forward. That's the group for Cleveland getting going in the second. Now here's LeVert. 15 in his last outing. And we've heard some, like Greg Popper, say that three-pointers are becoming too prevalent. Doris, do you think they overwhelm other parts of the game? You know what? There is obviously a heavy emphasis on two things. Three-point shooting and restricted area attempts. I think the feeling is the mid-range has been eliminated. But here's what I know, B.A. To win a playoff series, that mid-range game comes back into play. And again, I go back to the point that I have been consistent about. To me, the game is still in a great place. Here's Levert. After the Lakers picking up a basket just moments ago. And you never want to give a shooter like him a clean look. To the paint. Classic move by LeBron James. LeBron James leaves no doubt about that one. Punches it home as soon as he gets the opportunity. Mitchell feeling it out a bit. From downtown. Connect to downtown. Mitchell's got his third basket of the night. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Well, the last few years, defense has been the calling card for the Cavaliers. Yeah, a lot of that has to do with their big men. Not only do they have the length and size, they've got tremendous agility and are able to switch on to the perimeter as well. The Cavaliers have gotten only one of four shots to go in. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Hey, Brian, LeBron James last season moved into the top four all-time in assists and first all-time in points scored. Not only that, he is the only player in NBA history with over 30,000 points, 10,000 rebounds, and 10,000 assists. And he's still going. Folks, what we are witnessing is legendary. Brian? That is the truth. Good stuff, Allie. Thank you for that. On the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, good looks by our terrific camera crew. James, outside. Oh, LeBron, just too much to handle inside. Over and over in his career, LeBron James has absorbed contact, and it hasn't mattered. Inside, here's Mitchell, and it's good. Fought through contact, hit the shot, and will go to the line. And a new group getting ready for the Cavaliers. Allen, he's checked in for Thompson. Mobley comes in for Niang. Struess, he's checked in for Okoro. And Darius Garland subbed in for Levert. And a new group getting ready for the Lakers. Davis, he's checked in for Hayes. Achimura comes in for Prince. Reeves is checked in for Reddish. And Russell is subbed in for Dinwiddie. That free throw is good for Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell, just such a relentless scorer, and that high energy he brings is always a huge catalyst for whatever team he plays for. Here's Reeves. 
in his last outing with 12 points. Here's Hachimura. Again, the Lakers score. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. Mitchell, the pass to Allen. Allen a screen. Mitchell with the ball. And Davis picks him up defensively. No chance. Davis, just too much to handle on the defensive side. Tipped away. Ooh, stolen by Allen. And here comes the break. Here's Mitchell. A strong move by Mitchell inside. A strong start. And if anything, he's gotten better in the second quarter. And so it's Russell with it. He brings it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Three-point lead. Well, the perfect frame for a modern defensive big man. Jared Allen at 6'9 with a 7'5 wingspan. Yeah, and he's able to move laterally and contest vertically. Not a lot of flash to his game. More than effective, though, and he is a linchpin for them inside. Now here's Mitchell. He's got 13. Got it. Mitchell's got 15 points. Well, Spida is attacking right now. Very few guys can... First, Levert's checked in for the Cavaliers. And the Lakers also making a switch. Prince has checked in. A minute four left in the first half of this one. Pass to Davis. Here's Reeves. Russell deciding where to go with it. Over Garland. It's rebounded by Cleveland. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. Struess with it. Back to Garland. Prince against Struess. Garland to three. Prince grabs the miss. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. One second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Russell against Garland. Outside Russell. Davis down low. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. Davis has got six. Yeah, when Davis gets that kind of positioning inside, he is pretty much automatic. And so it's Los Angeles leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. And it's... We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. What a game we're seeing from Donovan Mitchell. You just love his patience offensively in the first half. Waited until he got the looks he wanted. You know, as a coach, you can preach good shot selection, but it's up to the players to execute, and this guy has done just that. Here's who Darvin Ham is starting in the second half. It's LeBron at power forward with AD as the center. D'Lo and Reeves are the backcourt duo, and it's Achimura in at small forward. There aren't a lot of ways to slow up LeBron James in the pick and roll. Even if you defend it perfectly, he can find a way to score. Now here's Garland. Still no points. There's a screen. Here's Allen. Oh! 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 Boom! He jams it straight down. Nice creativity from the big man, Jared Allen. You've got moves upon moves. Once again, an explosive highlight on the AT&T 5G slam cam. And James has got the ball here for the Lakers. Six-point game. Following this game, they hit the road to challenge the Raptors at Scotiabank Arena in Toronto. And this will be game six of seven out on the road. Their long trip almost over. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. Hey, B.A., well, the Cavaliers are one of the best young teams in the league, and it's up to their point guard, Darius Garland, to help distribute. He said, quote, we have so much talent on the floor. I just try to get my big fellows the ball so they can stay active and work for us on the defensive end as well. That's the game within the game right there, Brian. Yeah, he's got the right idea. Good stuff, Allie. Thank you. And the Lakers with possession here, following the score by Cleveland. They set the pick. James with the ball, guarded now by Mitchell. And slam dunk by James. 
I mean, the power of the driving ability of LeBron James is something that must strike fear into the defense. The three from Mitchell. Rebound by the Lakers. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. Hachimura outside. And the Lakers hit again from deep. Great play calling, great execution. Leads to four for four to start this half. Garland, the pass to Mobley. Back to Garland. Outside Struess. Yes, and a nice assist from Garland. Garland's got three assists in the game. Well, just quick with the decision-making, smart pass by Darius Garland. And Grant, you watch Darius Garland. It often looks like he's a step ahead out there. Well, he's got a great natural feel for the game, D.A. I mean, on the ball, he makes quick reads, and he'll create for himself and others. Off the ball, he always seems to be in the right spot and ready to fire. Now here's Struess. Pass to Mitchell from behind the arc. Hachimura with a rebound. The Lakers in the lead. James outside. Garland against Russell. Puts up a deep three. Donovan Mitchell with a board. The Cavaliers have gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. To the middle. Fast break. Here come the Lakers. And James throws it down. LeBron James, ever the showman with an exceptional slam there. One of the best dunkers in the history of the game. Now here's Garland. No points yet. Up and over Russell. And the shot is good by Garland. 116 left in the third. James outside. Hachimura against Struess. Hachimura in the post. Banked it in off the glass. Hachimura's got five points now this quarter. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Timeout call the Cavaliers. You gotta like what we're seeing from LeBron James. <laughs> they need to rethink their approach defensively. He's shown no signs of stopping. The Cavaliers will go for a different look here. Jones, he's checked in for Allen. Niang comes in for Mobley. Okoro is checked in for Struess. And Levert subbed in for Mitchell. And a new group getting ready for the Lakers. Hayes is checked in for James. Prince comes in for Achimura. Reddish is checked in for Reeves. And it's Dinwiddie in for Russell. Coro passes to Garland. And here's Jones. Jones sets a screen to the inside. Stolen by Davis. And it's the Lakers on the break. And Davis gets double teamed. Hayes for three. That one falls. Coming off Davis' feed. Hayes has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Garland against Dinwiddie with the 10-footer. And the shot is good by Garland. Garland's got four points this quarter. Well, such confidence on display from Darius Garland. Doesn't waste possessions. Aggressive offensively. It's Dinwiddie with a drive. And the shot counts. He's fouled. And it's a chance for a three-point play. Shooting for Los Angeles. Spencer Dinwiddie, a block for one. Dinwiddie against Garland. Four three. And he can't get that one. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers. A sizable lead of 14 at the break. They just can't miss right now. Every shot they're taking, you assume, is going in.
All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. As we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works, or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. And here are the Cavaliers now. They trail by 14, and that starts a four-game road trip for them. They've got Thompson, George Niang out there with Isaac Okoro, then it's Donovan Mitchell, and it's Levert in at the two. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavs. Mitchell down low! That's exactly where Donovan Mitchell wants to be. This guy knows how to finish strong inside. Dinwiddie against Mitchell. Dinwiddie outside. The baseline, Jay, is on the way. And there's James from the arc. And the basket's good. Off the assist from Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie's got three assists tonight. Cleveland has gotten five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. And here's Levert. Niang outside. Shot clock at five. No good from outside. And so Prince will bring it up for the Lakers. They lead by their biggest margin of the game. It's at 15 points. James can't get it to go. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Pass to Thompson. Thompson, a screen on Reddish. Levert passes to Thompson. And a missed layup. I'll tell you, most of the time, this guy's going to finish that. But that was tremendous defense that prohibits him from completing the play. And when he plays with that kind of attacking basketball, almost impossible to stop near the rim. Here's Mitchell. The Lakers getting their last shot to go. Cleveland calls timeout. Yeah, Coach no doubt wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. And the guys get a little bit of a break. Mentally, physically, just recharge here quickly. New group getting ready for the Cavaliers. Allen, he's checked in for Thompson. Evan Mobley comes in for Niang. Struess, he's checked in for Okoro. And Garland is subbed in for Levert. And a new group getting ready for the Lakers. Davis, he's checked in for Hayes. Achimura comes in for Prince. Reeves is checked in for Reddish, and Russell is subbed in for Dinwiddie. <laughs> Mobley passes to Mitchell. And we're about two minutes into the fourth here. Struess finds Mitchell. Six to shoot. Puts up a deep three. Oh, Mitchell with the smooth stroke from distance. I'll tell you, individually, he is doing all he can. But right now, somebody's got to step in and support this guy. Hachimura outside. Back to Russell. And he floats it in for the easy two. Credit the sweet setup on that one. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Now here's Mitchell. He's closely guarded. Can't hit from the elbow. And for him, that's a great look. Expect him to go right back to it if it's available. Uh, no doubt. Very good play call, good execution. Sometimes it just doesn't fall. A moment to check out the scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. Well, the coaching staff has to love what they're seeing on offense. There's so many assists because how this team is moving the ball. I think the other thing we're seeing tonight is the floor spacing of this team. Boy, they are shooting the cover off the basketball all game. He misses the free throw, and in terms of the league as a whole, 
There have been some of the highest scoring seasons in history the last few years, Grant. Well, B.A., it's all about pace. And across the board, teams are playing much, much faster. Faster than ever. It also seems like defense might be turning into a lost art. So I don't know if it's all for the best. Uh, despite the fact that LeBron James is now in the league for over two decades, he continues two minutes, to three, dominate. Three, three, three. Now here's Mitchell. And there's the lob. And Mobley throws it down. Of the unspoken communication on the alley oop and Evan Mobley making his teammate look good. Pass to Reeves. Left side Davis. Here's Reeves. Hachimura outside. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Max Struess picks one up. It's early in Rui Hachimura's career, but this young man has proven capable on the interior. He will never shy away from contact. Two shots. Free throw good, Hachimura. Rui Hachimura, a guy who's willing to slot into whatever position the team needs him and works hard to help out on every single play. Do you love the hustle and the attitude? And both free throws good for Hachimura. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Garland feeling it out a bit. The three from Mitchell. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll head to the line for three. There's a physicality and a frame that Donovan Mitchell possesses that allows him to get himself to the free throw line. Well, the final minute of a game can take up to 20 minutes of real time or longer. Is that something the league needs to look at, Doris? You know, B.A., I think they've already tried to do that. They've already changed some of the timeout situations. Some of the reviews come directly from Secaucus while game action is going on. The fact of the matter is there will always be strategy implementation late game that's going to extend the duration. I think the league has already addressed it to the degree they can. And a new group getting ready for the Cavaliers. Jones, he's checked in for Allen. Okoro comes in for Mobley. Levert's checked in for Struess. And it's Merrill in for Darius Garland. He hits the second from the line. And the Cavaliers will go for a different look here. Allen, he's checked in for Jones. Evan Mobley comes in for Okoro. Struess, he's checked in for Levert. And Darius Garland subbed in for Merrill. And he nails the third. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by now. And so it's Russell with it. He brings it up for Los Angeles. 17 points was their biggest margin. Lays it up and banks it in. And the Lakers lead by 16. It looks like it'll be a big win for them here. Time to just cruise to the end of the game and chalk up the victory for the Lakers. Man, they were in a groove from long range tonight. Yeah, they were able to find space, and they were ready to let it fly the moment they saw an opening. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. And they have to feel pretty good about themselves taking the first two games of the season between these teams. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for LeBron James. It's hard to think of a part of the game where he didn't play a major role mentally, physically. I mean, he showed us what he's capable of when he's feeling his best. So it's the Lakers now. After the Cavs picked up a basket a moment ago. Here's Davis. And finished off by Davis. Showing us that killer instinct right now. No letting the foot off the gas for them. And you want to save your best for last. Tonight, they've done that and then some. Mitchell with the ball. And Davis picks him up defensively. 
Unfortunately for them, they're still going to come up short. We wish they'd shown this kind of fight earlier. No doubt. It felt like they were a little tight for much of the evening. Now they're in a better flow, but it may be too little too late. Mobley against James. And so it's the Lakers easily grabbing this one. Exceptional effort on the road. They were ready and they were focused. Focused indeed. I mean, it takes a strong mental approach to block out the distractions.